God. Hey guys, what's up? This is your host, Night Pigeon here. So I decided to start a uh, fairly, uh, fairly cool let's play. You take these, and I'll tell our friend what you really want. Where do you think you're going? Anyway, so um, I'm gonna be doing this game twice. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the uh, the good walkthrough first, and then I'm gonna do the evil walkthrough. So um, that's practically what I'm doing. So I was just explaining that. How the heck do I quit? So that's what I'm gonna do. So hey guys, what's up? This is your host Night Pigeon here. Welcome to Fable Two, Episode One. And so our story begins. Yeah, yeah, that stuff. But who is the hero of our time? Uh, so I guess I'll do this one first, and then on the evil walkthrough I'll do this one, just so you can see how let her destiny uh, how much unfold. the game can be affected. Sensor, I'm just joking. lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. What is going on over there? Come with me, sis. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. That filthy creep. I hate him. Oh, he's just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. Hello, Cherish. Ladies and a gentlemen, I have traveled the land, Hello. simulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer I do guess to what? you for the modest price of five gold. Uh. Consider this. I didn't say this anything. Is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into yeah, it, and then it went will burr. make you beautiful. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in well, why, completely Why did you darkness. get on so late? Ah, now this is truly a mark. You just barely gone! This small, unassuming box is actually a hey, device created gone. by the just ancients. Now. 
as used by the old kingdom yeah. rulers themselves. Part of the game didn't tell me till just now. Turn the handle three times, and you shall be granted a single. You're wish. weird. There's no such thing as magic. No such like thing as magic. They did a good job with Fable too. We live in grim times what? indeed. If the young are too world weary to believe in magic, what? Most children your age believe eagerly. Cheese mellows. Look, I can see your eyes are bad, but I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. A good thing you're my cousin. You Freaking leave the said, party. Nick. So he has anyway, no idea what he stumbled upon, but you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You? You really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. For five gold coins, we could eat for. You know, when I was playing this game when I was littler, like listen to me, Rose. When, when I say little, I mean like week, you and your little eight, sparrow would be no ten. closer to your dream. No closer I always to thought, the you know, of that beautiful castle. You're gonna take the tower and try to well, wish back your real, sister. And you know, I've beaten this game like eight hundred times and now. This could be a way out of and when I look after. back, and I'm just like, why don't you wish what back your sister? I mean, come on. That's, I mean, the whole thing started to. because your sister got shot, Don't right? Summon. So why didn't... That always confused me. You know, like, I thought that was the whole plot to bring back your Oi, sister. kids! Come here a minute! Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants flew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now. And I can't leave my post. Hey, why don't you find them for me? You could be like uh, little constables. Sounds fun, right? How much do little constables get paid? Paid? Listen, kids, these are the five most wanted criminals in Bowerstone. Yeah? Well, how badly do you want them? Fine. <clears throat> One gold for all five warrants. Deal. Deal. Okay. The warrant. So, the look out for those warrants. With a life now, like instant image. I'll do it. What? Now all you have to do, to do is strike, strike a pose for my device. device. You'll be. Positively bit oh man, this game's results. so classic. Be what? Ah oh, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? But this could be fun. What a charm. Yeah. Mm, this one. <laughs> you uh, burnt my thumb up. <laughs> no. This thing's gonna be more popular than that pox. Chicken pox, small pox, box, pox. No, he said pox. Anyway. Now, I just have to wait yeah. three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around. Oh, I can almost smell the gold. <laughs> three months, he says. <laughs> Come on. The heck? Oh, what's the matter, Poochie? Does it hurt? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh! He hit a girl. Yeah, and now I'm going to hit another one. No, Can I block with this? Nope. Come on! Hit me, you little freaking cat! This is our neighborhood. Show them! Yeah, swing! There you go! Come on! No. What? I'm gonna whack you. Stop it! Let me alone, you nutter! Nutter. Not ah. Uh, nutter, 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 nutter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, that was funny. Right, let's go. Thanks for your help. I could have taken him though. A note. 
A note. Oh, poor thing. You had a horrible time. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I would hurt. I need a drink. What you need is someone nice to No, you on. don't. You're right, Betty. You're always right. I need Oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. Yep. Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. I'm a scientist. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, disgusting beetles. I hate them. Need help with something? Uh, sort of, yes. You kids aren't afraid of uh, beetles, are you? No, that would be silly. Yes, silly. <laughs> no one's afraid of loathsome, evil, conniving beetles. Well, uh, since you're not afraid, uh, how would you like to ruthlessly exterminate a few that are in my warehouse? We'll do it for a gold piece. Done. Ooh, I hope you can make them suffer. If those hideous vermin ever can suffer. Shoot the beetles. Shoot to kill. Yeah, let's go shooting and beetles. While you're breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. Hey, kid. Balthazar owes some protection money to Nicky the nickname. So how about you leave the beetles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. the nickname's behalf. Nah. I'll pass with the killing the golds. I mean, breaking the supplies. I wonder how long it's going to take to do the walkthrough of this game twice, the good and the evil. Hope I'll be able to finish it soon. <laughs> did I already kill the beetles or did I miss one? I missed one. 80% of the beetles. Must be one over here. Yep, there he is. Oh, crap. Do you know what I had to do to get those beetles? I'll remember this, kid. And go tell that the nickname Sanders or whatever is Colonel Sanders. That was a massacre. No mercy for the filthy buggers. That's what I like to see. And all my stock is still intact. Genius. Now I think about it, I wonder how those beetles got in there. Wow. Okay. I didn't know you were so good at fighting. Yeah, think fast. And we've got another gold coin. She didn't really even feel it. it. She's, she's a cyborg. Run. Cyborg. Ah. Uh Got -huh. the cyborg. Sorry, I'm half asleep, so I'm kind of mumbling. Mumble, mumble. Hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of twins. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't you? You can barely stand as it is. But they can. Bet they can walk straight, even. Get my booze back from that git magpie, and I'll give you a gold piece for it. Nah. He's not even a proper beggar. Has piles of stuff. And it's all stolen from bodified tramps like my good self. Let it go, Pete. Save your money for important things. It is his money. Can't he decide how to spend it? She's making all kinds of sense. Well, let's talk about my money. You find that bottle, and I'll pay you to keep it out of his hands. So you bring me back my bottle? Yes. Go get your bottle, Let's mister. Magpie guy. That must be Magpie. And there's the bottle. Get it, little sparrow. But don't wake do, him up. Do, 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 do. Did you guys see his head pop up? Go back to bed. Okay, ah, good. Stupid Pete. 
Let's go collect our gold from the lady and the treasure. Yeah! Go get some gold. Hey, the quadruplets are back. You've got booze. I can smell yeah, it. Yeah, you freaking you raccoon. Sure it's not your breath. I'll give you a gold piece. Hand over the wine, little sparrow. Give me the wine. Okay. Hold it. There's some paper in the bottle. I'll take I that. It's yours. probably. MM wanted to small salt with a firm, stealing glances of firms, whispering is sweet and. Holy crap. You guys in love with guns. I used to be an accountant. Well done. He probably saved his life. Probably did. I yeah, he'll probably start so drinking in another month anyway. Two more and we can buy the music box. Yeah, get out of my way, kid. Now, let's find the rest of those warrants. He said I should fuck you nine. What do you say? All right, I need to find dog. Is there he is? There's that dog again. Hey, you found one for us. I'm surprised. Normally, I'm not that this good playing with only one hand. I guess all, all I need to do is just run around. The camera moves automatically, so I this game is easy to play. Stop right there, you little brats. That's all the warrants. We should go back to that guard. Listen, creep. I told you no this morning. Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want them. So does our friend the guard. Yeah, but you're going to give them to me, see? Otherwise, there'll be trouble. There'll be trouble, all right. You take these, and I'll tell our friend what you really want. All right, you little hard case. What's he paying you? A gold piece? I'll give you a gold right here. Save you to walk back. A gold's a gold, I guess. If you want the money right now, you could give him the warrants. Now you're talking, girl. Mm. On the other hand, he's scum. Oh, stop. You're going to make me break down weeping. Nope. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to clean up this town. And then Lord Lucian will make me sheriff. Have you found them? Yay. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Now, normally, justice is its own reward. But as these aren't normal circumstances, there's your gold piece. That to sort out this town? Oh, Monty. Shh. I think Mother heard us. You again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Now push off before I call the guards, you animal. Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no-good delinquent Monty. Yeah. Yeah, that was... That was bad. Hello. What's the matter with you? Get that letter straight to Belinda. Don't let her mum get it. Knock on the door and let's see who answers. Sandwich mans. I mean, sandwich people. Open the door if you want a sandwich. Get your freaking sandwiches. What do you want? Sandwiches. Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Sandwiches. 
Yeah, we have Sandra just. Okay. We did it. We can buy the music box now. Come on, let's go buy that music box. I can't wait to see what it can do. What are you doing? Get back in the house! I'm leaving, Mother. I'm going to marry the man I love. Good for you. What? Oh, Monty. I love you. No, you don't! He's poor! Oh, Mother, you're such a shrew. That's why Father left you, and you can't get another man. Belinda, you shouldn't talk to your mum like that. Oh, now you're taking her side. What? No. Well, maybe you should marry her instead. But you're my one true love. Without you, there are no stars and no moon in my night sky. Only the cold, crushing dark of your absence. Um, my little dove. Well, that was fun. Anyway. I'm gonna buy the stupid box. Hello, Give me that box. Hello. We've come to buy the music box. Very wise, little ones. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet. Quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. Doop, 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 I went to Sandra Why are we still here? Five gold pieces. There's a lot of narration. It's hard to talk in this game. Let's just go to bed. I mean, a lot of I lines. I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow, go to bed. Oh, all right, uh, settle down. There's a nice, uh, angry, stray dog. Quiet, boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. Okay. It did work. Our wish came true. Come on, little Sparrow. Wake up. It's all right, doggy. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you. I promise. The past is knowledge. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it's called the present. Let's go to the castle.
evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young ladies. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? Ah, hello, Master Garth. Ha, huh, a man of few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? And well, history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian... We've seen heard about, heard that. about that. Yeah, yeah. We bought a piece of it, and we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Address him as my lord. Speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children are here. Huh. Children! It's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? Oh... <laughs> Well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle, like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I am working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Will you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I promise it won't hurt you. Okay. What's that? Nothing. Can I get in the circle, please? Thank you. Blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? What are you? Wait. There was, there was something what here. There was... What's that like? Quiet! You're heroes, but you're not any of the three. One of you is the fourth. What's happening? This isn't what I wanted. But nothing must stand in my way. No, wait! Don't! No! I can't allow you to live either. I'm sorry. Death 
is not your destiny today, Sparrow. She's kind of like a phantom. Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the girl survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to her small, broken body. The girl awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. She reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take her first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the girl's pain turned to strength. Her grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted her every dream. Ah, there you are. And your faithful friend, too. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. There's a chest near your caravan. I've left a few things inside that might prove useful. Meet me by the gates when you're ready to leave. Anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. I'll see you next time on Fable 2, Episode 2. 2-2. Two, two. I hate that word. 2. T-O. T-W-O. T-O-O. I hate that. Anyway, so I'll see you guys later. Leave a like. Subscribe. Leave a like. Subscribe. Uh, put a comment if you want. Um, For those of you guys watching this on YouTube, head over to my Twitch channel. It's N-I-G... N-I-G-H... Yeah, N-I-G-H-T-P-I-G-E-O-N. -E uh, same thing with my YouTube channel. Um, so, yeah, my YouTube and my Twitch are the same thing. I think I just said that three times. Anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. I'll see you next time.